They are places of hope for recovering addicts, just out of rehab or jail that no one else will take in. KDK Investigates first reported on recovery houses last fall and the lack of state oversight with them. But now there's a new issue, specifically for the operator of three recovery homes in Sharpsburg. As KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan reports, a dispute with her new landlord is putting the future of her program and the addicts in jeopardy. After leaving the Army, Kelly Ferry's life spiraled downward. Heroin addiction led to a brief stint in jail. But a judge took pity and got her help in getting clean and sober. Somebody took a chance on me. And I want to extend that. You know, I want to do the same. I want um, to pay that forward. The result is a project called The Journey Continues. Three recovery houses in Sharpsburg for men considered to be the toughest of cases. Like now recovering heroin addict Chris Yasko, who says he's been in and out of jail 30 times for drugs. What would have happened to you without this place? I'll be in the streets or dead. Yeah. No one else to give you a chance? No. Some of these men that come in here have burned their bridges with family. They don't have a support system, so we re re rebuild that here. Overflowing sewage again and again. But now Ferry's journey is on shaky ground due to an escalating dispute with her landlord who bought the buildings last summer. The bathrooms right here, it just started bubbling, um, and it was sewage. Who, she says, has refused to send exterminators for mice, electricians for faulty wiring, or plumbers when raw sewage came through this hole. He told me if I don't like the way he's doing things, he'll let me out of the lease. We do not have that option. I've met on home plans that can't leave, or they go back to jail, or the other ones go to the street. Then what? I told her flat out, this is enough. I'm not going to be the janitor here. I took Ferry's complaint to the building owner, Dominic Stellatano, who told me the problems are those of basic maintenance, like clogged toilets, which should be handled by the tenants themselves. She had three bathrooms. She needs to go to Home Depot, buy three plungers. But Ferry says she recently paid a plumber $700 out of pocket for repairs and now needs to buy new toilets. She says she'll be deducting that money from her next rent check. Stella Tano denies he's trying to force Ferry out, but says this might force his hand. His lease ain't even up for two and a half years. Right. I don't know what she's talking about. Right. But if she's setting to hold the rent and all that, oh, well, I'll evict her for that. Recovery for these addicts can be a fragile thing, and dislocation from these houses could very well lead back to active addiction and homelessness. Best for all involved that this dispute be resolved amicably. Reporting in Sharpsburg, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.